everyone. So this is going to be my November haul. Um, it's actually not the end of the month when I'm filming this right now, but um, as of right now, I think I have a majority of everything that I have. Um, I'm not going to put this up until the end of the month, but just in case I do get some more things, but I'm filming this now because I'm not sure I'll have time to do it later. So if there's another part to this video, that will be added on at the end, but I'm just going to go in the order that I got everything. I think that's the easiest for me right now. So I'm going to start with some photo cards. So so I bought three of Jihyo's Summer Nights photo cards. I bought them all from the same seller on eBay. Um, I got them all for a pretty good price, so um, that's kind of why I just like finished out this collection because now I have all the cards I want from Jihyo's Summer Nights cards. So I have nine out of however many there are. I'm not really sure how many there are, but I've taken to only wanting to collect like nine per release. Like I think for Yes, yes or Yes there's ten, but there's that one card that doesn't have her face on it or something like that, so I'm not going to get that card and just collect the other nine. And like for What is Love, I collected nine out of the eleven or however many there were. And that's just for like normal size cards. Um, I haven't really tried to collect like any of the bigger things that come with those albums, so. So next one I got was, I got 101's One the World and Soul Concert DVD. So um, I bought this from K-Pop Factory. Um, it, feel, it felt like it took a really long time to get to me, but um, I feel like they might have shipped it out a bit late. And also something else, I don't know, it just felt like it took forever. It might not have actually been that long, but I can't remember that well. But I have... I have already watched this, um, or I at least watched the first DVD, which has like the main concert or like the majority of it. So here's the track list. You cannot see that very well, but um, part one is basically like the majority of the concert. Um, disc two is, um, it has like a couple more songs from the concert that weren't on the first DVD, and the rest of it is just day by day fan cams. They're like of each of the members. Um, I think they're called multi angle. But I've only watched some ones. I have not watched any of the other ones. I don't know if my heart can take it, but that choreography to that song is cursed. Um, it, <laughs> like, even just talking about it, like, I don't even know what to say. Like, it's so amazing, but also so overwhelming to watch. Um, and seeing it in real life was, like, that was, like, it was so crazy. But, um, yeah, and disc three is the making film. Um, but, yeah, there's everything. Um... The photo book, I honestly haven't looked through very much, um, but it is a nice, thick photo book. Seems like it has like, a lot of nice photos from the concert. But while I was watching this, it really made me miss when I saw them back in June. Um, it's an amazing way to go back and remember everything, because even though I wasn't watching the same exact show that I, that I personally saw, it still brought back a lot of like the different memories of the performances. Oh. Yikes! Why does he do that? Oh my god. Also, someone with red hair is such an iconic look. Right now he has, like, white hair, and it looks so good. I don't know, someone obviously looks good, like, no matter what. Like, let's be honest, but sometimes some of his looks are just, like, too iconic. Way too. Like, he looks way too good. I'm not even gonna turn back to that pink. Also, the Minhyun solo stage in this was so, like, scary to watch. <laughs> like, not in a bad, like, that sounds bad, but it's, like, not, but, like, like, he, he took his shirt, like, that, his shirt, like, he could have kept it on and saved my sanity. Like, there's this, I remember there's this one picture the fan site took, and it's from that performance, and it's, like, it's, like, really, like, weird, because, like, that doesn't, that picture doesn't seem like it is Minhyun, like, like, he's just so muscular. Like, he's got a lot going on, but, yeah, so, that also comes with, like, little postcard, mini postcard things, I don't know exactly what to call it, but, um, here's someone's, I will go through them all, um, I just have someone separate, I have the rest of them in this binder, because that's where they fit, okay, so yeah, here's the rest of them, Daniel, Jihoon, Dippy, Jihwan, Samu, Wujin, Barman, Jisang, Minhan, and Jinyoung, which they're all really pretty. I like them. Um, they can fit, they fit in my like bigger two pocket pages, but I'm only keeping some ones in like my main binder because I just don't have the space. I also couldn't believe that there was three versions of the DVD. I honestly wanted to get all three. Um, and I even considered getting the Kino version as well, but like I actually considered it, but I'm gonna try to buy like his extra stuff from the other versions. 
eventually maybe because it's just so pretty and I want it. So the next thing I got in the mail was my Attention Make Star project. So if you don't know, they did a Make Star project for, it was like a fan meeting for their third anniversary. They had a lot of different like tiers you could join as whatever. I don't know what to call it, but um, I the one I contributed towards was the one that, like I didn't get like an online ticket to watch the fan meeting. Um, I, I knew that it wouldn't be at a time where I'd be able to watch it. So I just um, opted not to do that and I chose a reward that um, just came with some other things. So like as you can see it came with a signed album. I think most of the awards came with the signed album but this is of their 2018 special photo edition album which is really pretty and I want to go through it because it is honestly so pretty. I love 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 this concept and as you can see they all wrote letters to it like little short letters to each other so this is everyone's letter to Jinhoo and letters to Kuhn and everything. Um, I obviously can't read it. I wish I could but um because they're probably like really cute but I don't know whatevs um but yeah i really really love this concept from them it is so cute and i really i know i've mentioned before i probably not in a haul video or anything that anyone has like actually watched but um they can do bright concepts really well if it's the right kind of bright concept and i think this one works really well for them and this is another interesting part of the photo book like they have um like different props i'm not showing everyone but um like this part right here it says jinhu likes and then they talk about whatever it is that they like the prop that they took the photo with so they probably chose whatever they wanted or what they liked to take the photo with and then they wrote about it i'm guessing coons is shoes um probably goes is coffee which same me too Lay's games which doesn't surprise me i'm sure the two is hats i don't know any korean vocabulary so excuse me i'm sure it's right like context you know um mushin Sunyeol desserts. That's so cute. He's so cute. Um, Gijin. With that plushy dog. Um, I'm sure Hwani's is clothes. Um, because it does talk about, like, fashion. Fashion style and stuff down here. Um, and Jazz's ice cream, which doesn't surprise me. Like, he's so cute. Um, yeah. And then this is also another one of my favorite parts of the photo book. This one back here, because they just... They always have these, like, bee shots. Like, bee cut shots. I don't know if that's like, how to call it, but... Like, they're photos that they don't used to tease with and so they're like only photos you see in the back of the photo book and they have this in probably every single one of their albums which i love it so much because they're always such pretty <laughs> pretty pictures i'm like these are so cute my baby Zhao, so cute but yeah i have nothing but love for this release um like everything about it is just amazing and i love it but yeah that was my way too long talk about this album um as for photo cards what i pulled was i pulled this card they did unit cards so this one has way and motion in it which i am going to keep this even though it doesn't have Zhao in it um and you'll see why in a minute but um i also pulled Zhao for the first time ever it's crazy because i've been collecting attention in Zhao for like about three years now but i have not pulled Zhao once and when i opened the album and saw this i like gasped like it was a monumental moment for me i finally pulled Zhao after three years of buying attention albums new and pulling a photo card every single time i couldn't believe it but yeah so that was really exciting and to go out of order a little bit the reason i'm keeping the way and motion card is because first of all i love them both of course i would like want to keep it but also um the same day that i got this in the mail it was before i had actually gotten home i was at school i bought i bought this card i got it for pretty cheap um, it was Zhao and Jinhu's unit card, um, which is so cute. But it was actually up for auction, so that's why I was doing it at school. Yeah, so that's the photo cards I got from this release. I'm really happy that I have Zhao's set complete because it's like one less thing I have to worry about. Um, I feel like as attention release more and more, which which at the moment that I'm filming this, they're actually teasing for another comeback, I think. Or like just in the beginning phases of teasing for a new comeback. But um, I feel like as they release more and more, I get just way more and more behind on Zhao's cards because they're just not easy to get. But usually when I do find them, they're not for a bad price. Like, I got this one for a really good price. So, to move on, this set actually came with some other things as well. So, it came with, like, a little photo card set. Um, it came in this little envelope, which is really cute. The sticker is really cute. Um, but this is the set. Jinhu in the back looks like this. It's so cute. I really love, like, the yellow theme that they go with for, like, fan events and stuff like that. It's just so pretty. And all these cards are so pretty as well. Gideon, Honey, and Zhao. Zhao is so cute. I don't know. He's just like the cutest ever. 
but I really love this set. It is the only like full set I have of Uptension, so I'm really happy that I have something of everyone now, at least, because I do spend a lot of time focusing on my Zhao collection when I when it comes to photo cards. And then it also came with a Polaroid. It came with like a signed Polaroid of the member of your choice. So of course I picked Zhao, of course. I'm gonna show it, but um, I haven't shown it like online or anything yet for various reasons. You know, for those reasons, people don't really show Polaroids, but I'll show it. Um, so it's this, it looks like this, and it's obviously signed. I think a lot of these pictures were taken when they were in the US for their tour, I think. I could be wrong. I just saw someone say it online, so. Who knows if that's true, but it kind of looks like it, at least by the outfit. But it's really cute. Um, I was really happy to receive it because Polaroids aren't something I go out of my way to collect, but they're like something I consider more luxury items when it comes to collections because, you know, signed albums, I can I can justify those, but um, like Polaroids, I can't justify usually spending so much on them. Um, but something that has like been a thing recently is me like getting Polaroids from my ults, which um, because while buying Polaroids like by themselves, I can't really justify. Um, like there's been like Mixstar projects and just crowdfunding projects in general that I've had the chance to be able to join to get these. Um, and that I can actually justify because it's not, I'm not straight up paying a lot of money just for one Polaroid. I'm paying a lot of, a lot of money, I guess, for like, you know, the signed album, the photo card set, you know, and the Polaroid, other things that are included in, in the set that I bought. So it's not like, it's just more justifiable to me in my brain. But the last two things that came with the set, um, there's this pin set, which is really cute. Um, yeah, this one on the right is a little bit harder to see, but um, yeah, they're really cute. I just, I love everything about like Obtention's fan stuff. So like their fan colors, I don't know if yellow is their official color that it's been announced, but it's like their official fan color basically. And like this little, this little bear, the honey bear, whatever, I don't know. It's just so cute and I love it. And then the last thing is this light stick, which I assume would have been used at the fan meeting. But, um, yeah, it's so cute. I will, like, show you what it looks like. I'm just not going to turn the lights off, but, um, it's, like, this really cute, um, it's orange, but obviously it's supposed to be, like, yellow. It is really cute. I really, really love it. Um, I don't know. I just have such an appreciation for, like, everything Uptension does, so. Um, like, I'm really happy to have all of these things because they're all just super nice. And, I don't know, I just love supporting Uptension. I love collecting Uptension and... I love attention, so this package was like one of the things I needed, like around the time I got it, um, I was having a rough time. So this really lifted my spirits when I got it, and it's just really nice. So yeah, that was everything. So the last thing I have to show for right now is um, I got a Zen Market package, and it's a really small one, so um, I'll still probably talk about a, lo a lot about the things that I got, but um, the reason I started this package was so I could get Uptension's um, third Japanese single, Chaser, and honestly... I love this song to death. I love everything about this song. I've never been, like, the absolute hugest fan of the Japanese music that they've been releasing. Um, like, they obviously only had two singles prior to this, but this song I'm just absolutely in love with. I love the style of music that it is. It's quite different than their other two singles, but it's just so nice. It's still kind of got the same concept a bit. They went a little bit more, um, with a lighter concept for this part, but, um... Yeah, it sticks to the same kind of concept while also um, just being a different kind of sound, which, I don't know, it's just so good. Um, and this is the limited edition, so it comes with the DVD and the CD, um, and it comes with all the songs on it. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I think the Toe sings on Big Wave, or maybe Lose Myself. I don't know, he sings on one of the B-sides, and it's heavenly. I love it, but, um, and I did get a photo card with this. Um, I got, I got Wushin's photo card, so... Um, yeah, the reason I got Wushin's photo card is because I could either get this album for the same price with either Zhao's photo card or no photo card, or I could get it with Wushin's photo card. So I had three different options all at the same price. I already have both of Zhao's photo cards for this release, so I thought I would just get Wushin's photo card because I do love Wushin and I would consider him my second bias. Um, and I don't collect his cards, but I'm going to keep it anyways just because, um, it fills, it fills the page that I have. Um, if you haven't checked out this song yet, I highly recommend that you do. The music video is really nice. The song itself is obviously really great as I've mentioned and it's a it's a really big step up for me at least uh, um, with their Japanese releases and I didn't go all out with buying this release as I have in the past um, like for their first single ID I bought maybe five copies and for their second single I bought <laughs> ten copies but for this one I only bought the one because 
I don't know, I'm kind of over the whole member cover thing. Um, as much as I'd like to keep collecting Zhao's member covers, they're not really around for amazing prices, I'd say. So this is what we're sticking to, unless I change my mind in the future. And the last thing that I have is um, something not K-pop related, actually. Um, I'm going to include it here anyways because it's something I plan to collect in the future. What I got was I got a KB48's sixth album. Um, I do not know the English title of it, but um, it is the A version. Um, that's the title of it in Japanese. Um, yeah, it's the A version, so it comes with CD, DVD, and I'm going to open it. So, let's see. Should I... Okay, so... Obviously, it comes with the CD case, um, and the CD is not in here because I have it in my car because I'm actually going to listen to it, and here's the DVD. I have actually watched the DVD. It's kind of interesting. I just watched it because I wanted to see if I had an all-region DVD in my house, and it turns out I do, so I watched it. Um, but there is a little photo book type thing included in this, so I'll go through that a little bit. Um, let's see. I'll just find my faves and show you. Okay, so here's my Miru. And someone else, which I don't know her name. Sorry. More of my Miru. I love her so much. I'd say she's probably my favorite out of all of the all the girls. Um, I honestly don't know many. I only really know the girls from Produce 48, but maybe I'll get to know more of them in the future. Um, here's Jurina. Oh, Judy, I believe. Oh, and here's right here Kashiwa Yuki. Um, she's the only non-Produce 48 girl that I know and like. She's really cute, so. Um, yeah. So that is the photo book and everything. There's honestly not much to this album and AKB 48 albums, like, in the first place, but, yeah. So with AKB albums, um, there are different types of albums, have different members on the cover, and, um, I honestly do not know who any of these girls are. Um, and normally I would go about buying, um, a cover with someone I know on it, but the reason I bought this album is because of song number 12, Mystery Line. I love that song a lot. Um, it has three girls. Three of the girls sing it. Um, Jirina, Miru, and another girl, which I do not know her name, but um, the song is amazing and I like it a lot. But if I'm being completely honest with you, I love this entire album. Like, it's honestly all really good. And when I first bought it, I wasn't like completely convinced that I love this album, but I really do, um, probably like two months after I initially bought it, but, um, I can honestly listen to the entire track list, like, no skips really, um, another one of my favorite songs is no, track number three, um, it has Yuki on it, and another girl who I don't know, but it's a really pretty song, and it's more of like a slow song, but yeah, I like it a lot, um, it's kind of hard to pick out songs just because I don't know, like, what is what, but, um, because I obviously don't know Japanese, but, um, I honestly do think this album is really great. Um, in general, J-pop is not something I listen to at all. So um, the fact that I'm getting into KB48 is really interesting to me, but I'm really like excited about it because um, it's just kind of a different thing that I'm liking these days. Um, but I'm excited to buy more AKB albums in the future. Um, hopefully I can get into some of their others as much as I like this one. Yeah, that's it for this album. Um, like I said, I really do think it's like really good. If I had to recommend specific songs, I would recommend you check out track number three. Um, and Mystery Line. Mystery Line is absolutely my absolutely favorite song. Um, yeah. It's really good. So, okay, so yeah, that is everything I have for right now. If I get some more things, I will add an extra part to the end of this. If that's the case, then I'll see you in the next part. Okay, so it turns out I do actually have a few other things to show for this haul. So, so yeah, the first thing I want to show is, um, this photo of Miru. Um, it came with my AKB album that I showed in the last clip. I just forgot to show it. Um, and, um, I did, I did, like, order the album knowing that this was coming with it, but, um, I didn't necessarily love Miru as much at that time as I do now. Um, I just kind of got lucky that I happened to order this, this one with it. I don't know, I'm really happy to have this. I do actually have another, like, photo of hers on the way just because I don't want to have just one random page in my binder with, like, one random photo of her in it, so I got another one, and I'm gonna get two photos of another girl that I really like from AKB, um, and then just, like, call it quits with, like, collecting photos for these albums, because I know that there's, like, hundreds of these things depending on, like, the girl, so a girl could either have, like, a few or, like, hundreds of them, so, 
Um, my guess is that Nidu has a lot of them, so I'm not gonna go like out of my way to collect a whole bunch of them. I'm just gonna get two and like call it a day. And then next, what I have is I have um, Taehyun's photo cards from JBJ's um, Seasons Greetings from 2018. Um, I just got these because um, someone had them up for bid on eBay, and actually, this was the same person I got that um, Zhao and Jinhu card from in the last clip um, on eBay. But um, I just got them because it'll fill up my binder nicely. So, um, and it was like one of the last few things from Taehyun that I didn't have for JBJ, so I decided I would get it. Because I have been looking for the cards, just not actively really wanting to buy them unless they were super cheap, which I got these for pretty cheap. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is super exciting. So I joined a group order um, back in August for a Sungmin photo book, and I finally got it in recently. So this is the bag that it came in. So it, the title of the photo book is You Complete Me, and the fan site that this is, that this is from is called In My Pocket. So um, this is the photo book itself. Um, it's pretty big and pretty thick. It's got a lot going on, so yeah. In my pocket, you complete me is the title of the photo book. Um, I'm not going to show a whole bunch of pictures, but I will show a few because I love this photo book so much. Like, it is everything I ever could have asked for, so um, yeah, I'll show a few pictures. Don't mind the cuts for this part because I want to show some really good ones, so I'm going to have to flip through it a bit. So here's some cute ones, the bunny ears. Here's some pic pictures from, like, my favorite fan sign outfit. Whatever, this is like my favorite day ever. Here's some pictures from when 101 was on their world tour. I think this is from like airport shots from when they were in the US. There is some hotshot era pics in here. And let me tell you, when I saw this, I cried. Okay, so here's the last pictures I'll show. But um, this is, um, these are pictures from the Chicago show from the world tour. These are so cute. Um, I remember specifically when this happened. Like I have a very vivid memory in my mind of him doing this. And I'm really happy that these pictures were put in here. There's quite a few pictures from the Chicago show and just like the whole entire world tour in general. Um, so it's really nice to see them. I don't know. This photo book is just really, really nice and I'm so happy I bought it. I knew there would be like content from the Chicago show in it, but I was not prepared for the amount that there would be. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited about that. And it also came with this DVD. So um, it has all this stuff on it. It is all just um, like fan cams of someone. And there's a day by day fan cam, which I think I've, I've already like talked about that in this video, but um, there's also We Don't Talk Anymore. This is from the Chicago show, number 10. And let me tell you, I cried when I watched that. It is so like amazing. I think it's so cool how like I have a whole performance. I personally did not record anything from the show, but now I have like a little something and in like HD2 and not like a shitty iPhone camera quality. But yeah, there's also like performances from the Chicago show kind of sprinkled into because they're like fan cams from all the different songs that I showed but they're like edited from all the different performances so it's a whole bunch of different performances like in one basically so I actually have a pretty good amount of like video from the show but it's interesting to me how this fan site took video for like more than a minute and didn't get caught but I won't question it so it also came with some photo card and a postcard set so um the way it was packaged is actually really cute. They were in like little sleeves, but they were stapled together with these, which is really cute. There was 10 photo cards, which um, they're all really pretty. Um, the back is all just like the front and then how the, exactly, like, exactly how the front looks, but then like, like that. There's this one, this one. These are all super nice, like high quality photo cards. <laughs> yeah, and then this one is just the back of his head. <laughs> But it's cute regardless. And then this is the postcard set. Um, yeah. So this one's really cute. And so is this one. I love, I love this day. <laughs> so amazing. And then it also came with like two little mini posters, which look like this. Which they're really nice as well. Mine are a tiny bit damaged in the corners, but like it's totally fine. Um, I don't. I don't mind very much. But yeah, that was everything for the Sunwin photo book. I have one more thing to show after this. Okay, so lastly, what I got was I, I have six copies. Oops, I have six copies of Hot Shot's new album, Early Flowering. Um, and by the time that this video is up, this haul is up, I will have already posted the unboxing that I made for this album. So if you'd like, you can go watch that. I'll link it in the description. Also, sorry about the lighting here. It's uh, kind of late. And to be honest, the, the lighting in my videos from now on will probably be horrible because I don't think I'm going to see the sun again until like March. But um, anyways, moving on. I'll show my polls for this album. So obviously here my goal is to collect OT five yeah so i pulled jinhyuk there's two different kinds of photo cards so there's like the selfie kind and the transparent so jinhyuk 
I have Timo and Baehyun, and for Transparent I have Junhyuk, Timo, uh, Yunsan, and Hojong. So as you can see I got kind of lucky. I only am missing um, two cards from the selfie set and then one card from the transparent set. So um, yeah. So I do have some extras to trade if anyone is interested, but I have an extra Junhyuk selfie, um, two Taehyun selfies, um, an extra Yunsan, and an extra Hojong transparent. If anyone would like to trade, um, that would be awesome. I will trade worldwide. And it's really important to me that I finish this set. So if you have a card I need and are willing to trade to any of these five, four cards, I will trade with you. But yeah, that's that. And I also want to mention, um, as you can see, I have six Hotshot albums. So I'm obviously only going to need to keep one. Um, if anyone would like, um, I will be giving these albums away. Um, but um, the only thing is you'll need to pay shipping and then I will just send it to you. Um, I'd like to keep it within the United States, um, but I do have four copies currently unreserved, I'd say. Um, just, yeah, so if anyone would want a Hotshot album for really cheap, hit me up because um, not only do I not need four extras of these albums, but um, also I just kind of want to spread the love for this album because um, it's an amazing album and I want people to own it and have it. But yeah, if you're interested in my thoughts at all about this album and its comeback, you can check out the unboxing like I already mentioned. And yeah. Okay, yeah, so that is everything for this haul. Um, I think I had a pretty good month, to be honest. I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff, but I did get some really good stuff. Um, and as of right now, it seems that I will have a lot of things coming in December. So maybe not a lot, but I feel like I've ordered a lot recently, but yeah. So that was everything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Hello! Hello! Hello!